Hi guys, welcome back to the Shannon Show podcast. Hello if you're new. So today's episode is going to be a review of Love Island episode 12. So as you probably know, we're kind of anticipating for this episode the aftermath of the boys entering and obviously them being in the villa, seeing if they were going to have their eyes on anyone else other than their dates, Jess and Shanice. And who was going to end up being dumped from the island, obviously, most of us, you know, obviously if you watch the first look or, you know, you were up to date with all the Love Island goss, you know that there is going to be a recoupling and an eviction. In terms of the eviction, obviously I guess everybody's kind of looking towards Naz. Could he be going? Rumours were swirling around that it was going to be a shocker, but we'll get into the result later. Starting off the episode, we see Shanice and Jess go on a date, obviously, Jess was on Jess was on a date with Luke M. Shanice was on a date with Luke T. Kind of seeing them on the date, I feel like both of them have pretty bland personalities. I feel like we saw a little bit of fire from Luke T in the prior episode, but up until this point, I was just kind of thinking, you know, I'm not really sure what kind of entertainment value these two boys are going to offer past looks. So in terms of how the dates went, I couldn't really tell how they went. I know they didn't go bad, but I'm not, I wasn't really sure if they went well either. Both parties on each date basically said that they like each other. Um, Luke T said that he likes Shanice. Shanice says she likes Luke T. Luke M says that he likes Jess. Jess says that Luke M is not her usual type, but he, she's interested in getting to know him. So obviously at the beginning of the episode we kind of see what was going on in the first look. Obviously Connor and Sophie have a little tiff, have a little bit of an argument. It starts off because Sophie was saying how, you know, the new boy, specifically Luke M, um, the one who looks like Justin Bieber, had nice teeth, had nice tattoos, had nice eyes. And she was saying it as she was with everyone and as she was sitting next to Connor and Connor got pissed off and walked away. Sophie says that she was joking and although I do feel like Connor is crazy and over possessive I can see why he got upset personally if I was with someone and they were even in a jokey way they're saying this girl has so many nice qualities about her physical attractive qualities I probably would feel a type of way about it whether it was whether it was a joke or not I don't really know why that would be funny so in this rare occasion i'm siding with connor on this one i do feel like he overreacted but i can definitely understand why he felt a type of way and like i said i'm not really sure what the joke is and why it's funny and on top of that i feel like sophie has chosen to be with connor she knows he's very sensitive he knows she knows what he gets triggered by I don't understand why she would try that joke again knowing this is the reaction she's going to get and then get shocked by the reaction. I don't necessarily understand that. Obviously, she's kind of saying, you know, maybe I need to be a bit more sensitive to his feelings, but then I just feel like he's over, overly sensitive. Again, I'm confused with Sophie's decision. Like, either, you, either you're with him and you're with him and you accept all parts of him or you leave. I'm just confused. Sean is trying to defend her, but it's just not working out because Connor's coming with the, you know, but would you like it if Callum did that to you? And she's not answering the question. And we all know Sean would be kicking off if Callum did, ever even attempted to do that to him. Callum is smart enough to, is smart enough not to even set that kind of bomb off. Yeah, I'm really trying my best not to be invested in Sophie and Connor, but the drama just keeps sucking me back in. I don't think that they are compatible and I feel like they're just going to keep having these clashes. Obviously, when the boys come back from their first date, obviously the boys all huddle together and Connor is being quite vocal, you know, trying to figure out if they're after everyone. Obviously, they're just kind of saying that they like their dates. They're not really saying who else they like. And Connor is in the confessional basically saying that, you know, he doesn't trust them and he, he hopes that their eyes don't wander to anyone else, but he can't trust it. So obviously next, the next day, new boys get to pick dates again, but this time it's a date inside the villa and everybody gets to watch, which is just very weird. Um, so the first dates picked were Leanne and Paige. Obviously Paige is picked by the Justin Bieber lookabout and Leanne is picked by Luke T, the other Luke. 
I personally would have preferred to have Leanne on a date away from everyone. But you know, you're gonna take what you're given. And obviously Mike and Finley, they're watching from the, for the balcony. They're both pressed. Finley doesn't like that Paige is on a date. He's saying that he hopes she doesn't enjoy it. I'm not sure whether it's because he actually likes her or because he doesn't like, you know, him seeing her with another guy. So in terms of how the dates went, I think that Luke, M, and Paige definitely had a spark. I feel like Paige fancies him a lot. I feel like he fancies Paige. I think they could potentially be a new couple if she decides to pick it after the date. Paige is saying that her head is scrambled, you know. I feel like she probably would enjoy Luke M a bit better. It seems like they have a, a bit more in common. Finley is kind of fit, but I feel like, hmm, I'm not really sure who I prefer. I, I feel like I wouldn't mind either, but I feel like maybe this Luke M guy could potentially be a better match for Paige. What do you guys think? But in terms of the date with Leanne and Luke T, I didn't see a Luke, I didn't see a spark there. I saw more of a friendly, I saw more of a friendly energy. But what I did notice is that Leanne's head was high. Her neck was high because sometimes she'd be looking down and her neck is missing. But today the neck was out. So she was definitely, I feel like she was getting off the attention and she was getting off, she was getting off of Mike watching her from the balcony. I think she really enjoyed that. But in terms of, this date compromising her and Mike's relationship I don't think it will I feel like she probably prefers Mike and I feel like her and Mike have you know a bit more chemistry a bit more in common so I think she'll probably stick with Mike I wouldn't be shocked if she left Mike she did mention that she thought he was a bit paranoid maybe this is because he keeps asking for reassurance and asking her to open up you know every two days maybe that's what she was referring to but I don't think this Luke T guy would be it will be enough to break Mike and Leanne up. I feel like if anyone's gonna do that, it's gonna be another girl coming in for Mike or another or another boy coming in for Leanne. But what were you guys thinking at this point? So Mike and Leanne have a chat after Leanne's date, and Leanne basically confirms that she wants to stick with Mike, as I suspected. I think Mike is the better suitor in this situation. Sophie and Rebecca are next for their dates. Rebecca actually said she had an interest in Luke T. They go on a date, there's loads of laughing. I don't necessarily see a spark, but I can see that they kind of get along quite well. And it's kind of looking like maybe she's leaning more towards him. She kind of alludes that Connor, hot Connor is a bit dry and you know, for somebody that good looking to be rejected by two good looking girls essentially, maybe it's just the personality is just very dry. But the thing is, I've seen his personality come across on screen, but it's looking like it might just be Connor, you know? It's a damn shame because he looks so good, but at this point I'm kind of thinking, is Connor, is Hot Connor going to be in trouble? Is he going to be the one going home? On, Soph on Sophie and Luke's day, it was just kind of just Sophie bitching about Connor. So I don't really think that date went well. I think if anything, Luke M would be turned off by that because he wants to go on a date and then hear you bitching about your partner. It's just not a great look. Sophie pulls Connor for a chat and basically tells them that he thinks that he's a bit sensitive and whether she needs to do anything to accommodate that. He gets offended. He says he's not sensitive. He denies it. He says that he's usually chill on the outside. It's just in here. His head's a bit off. But I call bullshit because he's clearly crazy everywhere. Like I've said, he's had a hundred partners and it's because he can't keep anyone because people just keep running away from this guy. You know, obviously he asked the boys in the villa if he's sensitive. I guess he was hoping they were going to like be like, nah, you're not sensitive. But the boys laugh in his face. So even the boys know how sensitive Connor is. So then obviously the text comes through uh, about the recoupling, you know, the boy not picked is going to be sent home. And instantly it's just, I was excited about it, but I was just starting to feel very tense about it and just very bad for Naz at this moment. You know, I wasn't really sure because, you know, some of the girls, they were going to go for the same person in terms of who was going home it really was about order because say if someone's first option got picked for instance 
then their backup option would probably just be a friendship couple. Most of the girls only really have one person that they really like. So it really depended on the order of the girls picking and who picked who in terms of who was going to be sent home. But obviously the boys, you know, the boys that aren't safe are on edge. Obviously, you know, Callum, I guess Connor even, and Mike, they're all very comfortable. They know they're going to be safe. Finley, you can tell, he's kind of just keeping it cool. He doesn't really have any option but to put his faith in Paige's hands. Luke, he's grafting with Jess. He's grafting with Paige. Luke T, he's just kind of grafting with Rebecca. He didn't even bother going up to Shanice, which I think was quite stupid. Naz, he's grafting. He's talking to both Jess and Shanice. He knows he can get possibly get the friendship vote. Jess, she's been feeling a bit guilty. She's like, you know, she doesn't want to pick Naz over something that might happen but then what if she picks that guy and nothing comes of it and you know Naz is saying you know would you want to lose a friendship over something that might not you know materialize and you know what yeah that is a stupid argument but I've got to respect the hustle you've got to do what you've got to do to stay in but yeah for me personally I'm always going to look out for my best interest I didn't come here to find friends nice try but I definitely would have reserved Naz for at least a back backup choice if my first choice, if I didn't get my first choice. So obviously recoupling comes and I was thinking it's either gonna be Connor or Naz out. So obviously Leanne picks Mike, no surprise there. Shauna picks Callum, no surprise there. Sophie picks Connor, no surprise there. Then this is when things got interesting. It was Rebecca up next and Obviously, Rebecca was first, so I, I knew she was going to pick Luke T. Obviously, she picks Luke T, and you can just see Shanice is pressed. Shanice is pissed. Her eyes are popping out her sockets. She's nibbling her lips. I can tell she just wants to say, I can tell she just wants to stand up and be like, you fucking bitch, you fucking thieving bitch. Shanice was pissed. You know what, I respect it. Rebecca, you know, she, she said she was going to do what she had to do. She said she weren't afraid of stepping on no toes. Um, then it was Paige. Paige picks Finley. I thought she was going to pick with, go with Luke M, but, you know, deeper into the speech, she kind of knew she was going to pick Finn. Finn is obviously re relieved. Then it's Jess next. And, you know, when she was talking about, you know, he's made such a good impression, you know, who brings such life to the house. I thought she was going to go rogue and pick Connor G. She was probably just like, you know what? Connor G is fucking hot. He's available. Let me just snatch him up now. But she picked Luke M, which was a surprise, but not so much of a surprise. It was just like, oh, I didn't know he made that much of an impression. Obviously, it was Shanice next. And before she opened her mouth, I was just thinking, hmm, who's she going to pick? Because... Connor has essentially did her dirty once. Naz really hasn't. If anything, Shanice has just been unnecessarily mean to Naz. But Naz has been a bit cheeky to Shanice saying some sly things. But I was just like, who's she going to pick? Is she going to pick Connor? Maybe think that she can make something with Connor? Is she going to send Naz home out of spite? What is she going to do? But then obviously when she starts talking about, you know, this guy is such a big part of the house you know, he deserves to find someone. I was like, okay, okay, she's picking Naz. So obviously she picks Naz, and I'm just like, you know what, Shanice, maybe you aren't that much of a witch after all. So then obviously Connor gets sent home, and I think he knew it at this point. I think as soon as Rebecca didn't pick him, he was probably a bit anxious, but as soon as it was like Shanice left, I think after Jess went, he knew he was a goner. He knew it, and I don't think... He necessarily thought he was going to be one of the one of the first people to go. I didn't think it. I, I certainly didn't think it. But he takes it well. You know, Rebecca has a little talk with him. She basically says, you know, it is kind of what it is. You know, I don't want to feel like I led you on. And I feel like, you know, Connor was being very laid back. I think, you know, he kissed her and he thought that was going to be it I feel like especially when the new boys came in he didn't step up his game he was very chilled very relaxed 
And maybe perhaps in real life, because he's so hot and good looking, he's never really had to graft for everyone, for anyone. Because even in, in Sophie's thing, you know, he was making breakfast, but it still wasn't really that much of an effort being made. So I feel like perhaps maybe it is perhaps his fault for his own demise. But yeah, I'm upset to see the back of Connor. I loved, you know, seeing him nice and on nice and oiled up for the challenges in those little tight boxer shorts. I'm going to miss that. It's not going to be the same scrolling down his Instagram. Obviously, after the recoupling, we see Shanice in the confessional. Shanice is pissed. She lets it all out in the confessional. She basically says that Rebecca has gone behind her back and she has no loyalty. And... You know, again with the delusion, because this Luke guy's literally been there a day. What, what time has Rebecca even had to go behind your back, you know? Obviously, Rebecca has, keeping her, has kept her, her um, cards close to her, but I feel like this is like a double, a double whammy because... I feel like this is obviously a double whammy because... Rebecca has stolen her has stolen her, her, her man twice. She stole Connor from her and then she stole this Luke T guy from her. So I can definitely understand why Shanice is like extra, extra pressed. You know, Shanice is saying, you know, we'll talk about it later. Rebecca's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like Rebecca's just like, oh, I really just don't want to talk to this bitch. Like, she just needs to allow it. Like, the best bitch won. What do you guys think? Do you feel like Rebecca was a snake? Or do you feel like it was, you know, the best bitch won? Like, what do you think it is? And do you feel like Rebecca needs to talk to Shanice? Or nah? Let me know what you think. I think that Shanice is just a sore loser. But yes, so for the first look, we have our first dumping. But it's a bit of a cheap dumping because we can't vote for any of the couples in we can't vote for any of the um, new boys to go out so it's a bit of a cheat there um in terms of who i voted for i voted for mike and leanne but please do let me know um please do let me know who you voted for um i feel like mike and leanne are my favorite couple so it's just a no-brainer to keep them in i feel like in terms of who would be vulnerable i think it will probably be Sophie and Connor I think I think Naz has a lot of fans so they'd keep him in I think I'm not sure about Paige and Finley maybe but I feel like Sophie and Connor will probably have the least amount of fans and I think perhaps what they're going to do is they're going to spice it up and do this thing where you have to pick between the two of them which one you're going to keep and I hope fingers crossed that it is that, and then we can send Connor home because I think I think it's time. It's time for him to go home. <laughs> but yes, who did you guys vote for? Who are you hoping is vulnerable? Who are you hoping is leaving? Are you hoping for an individual vote off? Or do you think like it's time for a whole couple to go clean sweep? People are happy that Naz is not going home. And Shanice obviously has a, a lot more appreciation for the TL, on the TL for saving Naz. People are making jokes on the timeline about how, like, basically Shanice saw Connor with G and was like, I don't know who this man is at recoupling. People are upset that they can't vote for the new people to go. Specifically, they're upset that they can't get Rebecca and Luke T out. Um, hmm. I think out of all of the couples, I think I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind them going, to be honest. I feel like if all of them were up, I would have preferred either Sophie or Connor or Rebecca and Luke T. I just think either... Actually, you know what? Rebecca's fun, you know. She's bringing some spice to the house. But this Luke T guy, I'm not really feeling him, to be honest. People are making fun that Shanice... How Shanice is angry that Rebecca stole her man. People are saying that they're now going to call Shanice by her real name because she earned their respect. People are saying that Rebecca is a player. That, you know, she came here, she sampled Connor. And then she switched it up last minute. Yeah, she really did Connor dirty, but Connor was Connor was foolish to think he was comfortable like that. People were saying that they're happy that Naz is staying, but they're mad that Connor has left. People were saying Connor was boring and it was the right choice to make. People are saying it's kind of bittersweet that, you know, Naz, Shanice has saved Naz, but now they can't vote Shanice off. People are saying Connor played it wrong and he should have faked it from with Shanice from the very beginning. 
You know what, I feel like Connor made the best decision that he could at the time. He probably didn't anticipate new boys coming in, but you know, his game was definitely whack. Yeah, that's pretty much the roundup of the tweets. For those of you wondering, my handle is at Shannon Fabuloso. The link is in the bio. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know what you thought of this podcast. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you have, don't forget to make sure that your notification bell is on so you'll know when the next podcast is dropping. Till next time, guys. Bye.